Rakatai Hawa, Rakatai Hawa Shai, Rakatai Hawa, Rakatai Hawa Shai, Rakatai Hawa, Rakatai Hawa Shai, the call Halal La, Yahweh Bashim Hawa Shai, which means bless Yahweh, bless Yahweh Shai, all praises to Yahweh, in the name of the Son, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four legs scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right. Um, I'm just going to go in the spirit with this one. I have no scriptures lined up. But, um, you know, I just want to touch on um, that you got to stay strong in the spirit. You know, all of us brothers, we have different lots. You know that we have a di different situation, but it's all the same at the end of the day. You know, we're here in the flesh, we're here all here, you know, in this society under Esau's rule, whatever what land you live in, you know, we're going through the motions. You know, we have this faith that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and that no man could take that from us. Because remember, Ephesians 2 and 8, it says, Faith is a gift of the Most High. You know, let me, um, so I quoted that, I'm getting. Like I said, I don't have no scriptures lined up. So I'm going to go with the spirit, wherever how it come. All right. Now this is um, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. It says, for by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of the most high. So faith is a gift, and no man can take it from you, because the most high sent us through trials and tribulations. You know, and that's all to purify us into the day, you know, that we see him, man. You know, we have to go through these things, you know, in order to be tried and made white. You know, it's a lot of things we also sin in our past life. We sinned in this life. So whatever it is that you have to go through, you know, just walk the straight gate. All right. As the scriptures say, you have fire on one side, you have water on the other side. You know, only one man can travel there through. You know, and that's only you. And whatever you're going through, you know, if it seems to get hard, remember prayer. You know, prayer. And before it even gets hard, we should always be in prayer. You know, prayer is a must. Prayer should be done every day. You know, and if you have, um, you know, busy, busy schedule, working, you know, family, whatever, and you know, you have your time to put out some videos. Then you want to get your sleep. You probably want to get your long time. You probably want to get your ISO time, you know. You know, you want to uh, always be in prayer, man. Prayer is a must, man. And let me get that. This is... uh. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and 17. Pray without ceasing. This is 1 Timothy 2 and 8. I would therefore that, that men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubting. You know, and that's a must because we never know what we're going to go through. You know, you never know, you know, your, your, uh, your uh, path. You know, scriptures say man's going is of the Lord. How then can he find his own way? You know? And truly, you know, our you know, our Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, he guided our steps. You know? So whatever it is that we go through, remember, the Lord said he don't give you nothing too hard for thee. You know, let me uh get that out. Let me get that one. Jeremiah chapter 32. Hold on. 
This is Jeremiah chapter 32 and 17. It says, I, Lord Yahweh, behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy great power and stretched out arm, and there is nothing too hard for thee. All right, this is another one, but there's a one that they believe in Corinthians. All right, you know, where the Most High make a way for it to make a way, excuse me, make a way for us to escape. But this is a good one too because the scriptures tell you that there's nothing impossible uh, to the Lord. You know, no matter what obstacle, no matter what situation you're going through, pray. You know, when we're going through those tribulations in hell, you know, that's when we truly are at our, our, uh, we are truly closer to the most high than we ever is, man. You know, as far as being in this flesh today. You know, because it's the spirit that quickeneth. And when you catch in hell, you know, that's when your mind is clear. You know, your spirit is humble. And, you know, you don't care for this world. You don't care for this life. You know, this life is meaningless, man. This life is uh, uh, vain. Okay, everything under the sun is vain. You know, and it's hell because we're not in our rulership, you know, and, um, you know, that's just what it is, man. So we got to stay strong, stay strong in the Lord, mm -hmm. stay strong in your house, your house, your shy. All right. And, um, I'm going to read this again. Jeremiah 32, 17. It says, I, Lord, Yahweh, behold, thou hast made the heaven and earth and the earth by thy great power and stretched out arm and there is nothing too hard for thee so there's nothing too hard for the most high that you know that's impossible you know seems like you know down and out might be stranded you know might be um, catching hell from the system mm -hmm. you know your woman but these things is um it's light because the Lord said we were going to go through a light affliction. You know, this is a light affliction compared to the glory that we we're going to receive. You know, Yahweh Shai, remember, Yahweh Shai, he went through it the toughest, man. You know, he gave up his life for, 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 the, for the children of Israel, in particular the elect. You know, he gave up his life. And, and what he went through, you know, it's, you, man, he should break down and cry because. You know, our Lord truly loves us, man. You know, who can love us more besides Yahweh, the Father? It would be his son. You know, he came down here. He did a mission. He finished this mission. But guess what? The battle was won, but the war is not finished yet. You know, the battle is not won. The, uh, excuse me. The war is not won yet. And the war is going to be won when Yahweh Shai take the crowns of these heathens. And take this earth back and give it to the rightfully elect, the rightfully own, chosen, Yasha Allah, you know, starting with the elect. So, you know, um, I'm not going to keep you. I, I really had nothing, but it was in my spirit. I know one brother, he's going through it right now. I hope, brother, you see this video. I hope I uplift your spirit, brother. You know, be strong because uh, shit like this, you know, we all go through. And, um, you know, I know that. Uh, nobody's situation is uh is greater. It's just that we got different lots, you know, different things the Lord put us through because He know what we can handle, you know. So, you know, I want to um, just end it with that. Want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashi Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakodash. Want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.